preserving your options is really important when you're young. So ideally I try and avoid knee replacements if I can. Now there are some patients who have bone and bone arthritis. They've had multiple operations, they've failed, and they're tired. They want something like a knee replacement and when to cross over. That's a longer discussion where we look at your images, we look what has been done, what has been tried, and frankly, we discuss what your goals are. So in terms of knee replacement surgery, there are different types of knee replacements. There's the standard knee replacement. That's a complete knee replacement. So ultimately, we replace all the surfaces inside your knee joint. And then there are partial knee replacements. Partial knee replacements are just one part of your knee. And if you think about your knee almost as having three different sections, so it's like a tricycle with three wheels, just because you have arthritis in one part of your knee, it doesn't mean that you have to have a full set of new tires. Partial knee replacements, one technique that I've been using for a while is called Mako. You use a robot in the operating room that helps you make the cuts more precisely. Because we're trying to remove the least amount of bone to preserve more of your own knee, Essentially, we get a CT scan pre-op. And based on the CT scan, we make a 3D computer model, and that gets fed into the robot. And then the first job in the operating room is, is to tell the robot where your knee is in space. It doesn't really have eyes. It cannot see your extremity itself. But we secure these little pegs with little reflective balls, and the robot camera can see the reflective balls. And then you move the knee so the robot gets a sense of your range of motion, the joint position, and then it shows me specific points on the, the 3D model in its brain. And I tap those same corresponding points on the patient so that after tapping 20, 30 points, the robot then knows exactly where your knee and the structure of your knee is in space so that it can guide me and help make those cuts more precisely. Partial knee replacements are nice because you preserve more of your own knee since we only replace one part. It feels more natural, your motion is better, the recovery is a little bit quicker. So whenever I can, I try and do that rather than a full knee replacement. We want to stay active for as long as we can, so it's really important for me to make sure as I get older, when I have issues that arise orthopedically, including surgery, that I'm very comfortable with who's going to be my partner in terms of going through what can be a life-altering process to make sure I'm able to resume those activities as quickly as possible.